Hi there. Good evening to you both. Yeah, with technology, manpower from other departments, and especially from the help of their own K-9 here at Southington Police, K-9 Tank, police officers were able to stop the four suspects before potentially committing another crime. I'm constantly on the lookout. No matter what you drive these days, people like Jennifer Hibbs are alert at all times, searching for thieves, stealing cars. I feel like it's ramping up. I feel like it's happening more and more, and it's really scary. It happened here in Southington on Sunday when police tracked a stolen Kia Forte heading into town on Meriden Waterbury Road through something called a Flock LPR system. Once we get a hit on our flock system, we typically broadcast it immediately and our officers get them as well in the cruisers. Lieutenant Keith Egan says they found the car near Main Street and Meriden Ave when the suspects picked up speed and drove away. At that point, they had deployed stop sticks on the vehicle, successfully puncturing the tires. Eventually, investigators caught up with the suspects on Route 10 in Cheshire, where police found the car abandoned with all four doors open and the ignition taken out of the car. Typically, the vehicles that are stolen are the ones that have the keys in them or they're able to be tampered with like the Kias and the Hyundais. And those cars, Lieutenant Egan says, are usually used to commit other crimes. But in this case, police stopped that from happening with help from other departments and Southington's K-9 tank. They found and arrested two 18-year-olds, Ronald McCauley Jr. of New Haven and Andre Lorenzo Woods of Hamden, who told police about two more juvenile suspects. Hours later, police found them hiding in a tree and arrested them too. So we can not only recover a stolen car, we can prevent crime. And that's the ultimate goal here, right? Is, is to deter them from committing crimes. So for those looking to do the same, Lieutenant Egan has a message. If you're coming into town with a stolen car, we know you're here and we're gonna be looking for you. So don't come to Southington. I'm so excited to be part of this town that has it, that catches it like that. So it makes me feel so much better. Now, the adult suspects were arraigned yesterday while the two juveniles are still waiting for their day in court. All four of them are facing about a handful or more charges each. Now, since this case does involve a stolen Kia, Southington police wanting to remind the people who live here in town that they are still handing out free wheel locks for Hyundai owners. And for those who don't live here, just contact your local police department to see if they're doing that or call your local dealer. We're live here in Southington tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.